Our ocean is essential to all life on the planet. We depend on it for the air we breathe and the food we eat. Billions of people rely on it for their livelihoods. And a healthy ocean is essential for maintaining a stable climate. But pressures such as greenhouse gas emissions, exploitation, overfishing and pollution are putting the health of our ocean in danger. Absorbing 25% of human carbon dioxide emissions each year and 90% of the excess heat caused by human activity, the impacts of climate change on the ocean are clear to see. Marine heat waves are more frequent, sea levels are rising and ocean acidification has increased. This is having devastating consequences for marine life and for our coastal communities. But the solutions are in our hands if we work together, globally and locally, across governments, businesses and communities. To protect our ocean, we must take ambitious action on climate change, achieving net zero by 2050 and keeping 1.5 degrees within reach. A healthy ocean can also be a key ally in our response to climate change. Protecting and restoring critical marine habitats from seagrasses and mangroves to salt marshes and coral reefs can help protect coastal communities from rising seas and more frequent storms and can even help absorb carbon dioxide. We must also help the ocean build resilience to the impacts of climate change by protecting its biodiversity. Many countries already support a new international 30 by 30 target to protect at least 30% of the global ocean by 2030, including in areas beyond national jurisdiction. We invite everyone to come on board. Through this target, we can help to protect ocean ecosystems, increasing their resilience to climate change, reversing biodiversity loss and restoring fish populations. But effective action is only possible with the right expertise and resources to deliver it. Global collaboration is needed to build robust and transformational ocean science. And we must invest more in protecting the marine environment. Such investments by governments have accounted for less than 1% of the total value of the ocean economy in the last 10 years, with little extra invested by the private sector. These are actions that can make a real difference. Our ocean is essential to all life on the planet. We must not take it for granted. We must do better if we are to save the ocean. We must all act now.